Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 180, build day 180. And um, we have a pretty much a full crew here today. Uh, so painters, ceiling installers, varnishers, the regular uh, labor crew, tilers. Yeah, we got a full crew. Uh, so let's get walking around and see where everybody's at and let's get started. This morning we got painters. Mr. Ricky over here is putting on another coat of prime coat in the corners. Uh, some of the stuff that they sanded down. So recovering. Uh, the varnisher, Mr. Andy, is continuing on door number two where he left off yesterday. Let's go ahead and walk on back to the master bath. I believe Mr. Mr. Jojo is back here. He's working the um, tiling underneath the hers vanity. So he'll be working on that. Let's go take a look at the other tiles being done on the laboratory for bedroom three. Okay, so the laboratory for bedroom three is completed for now. The laboratory for bedroom two is still being worked on. That's Mr. Willie out there. Um, so they've still got to go up two more courses here. One more course the rest of the way around. Right where they left off yesterday. Okay, let's go ahead and take a quick walk upstairs. We are starting to move materials upstairs for floor tiling. So we got a bunch of the floor tile already up here and they're already starting to stack uh, sand up here as well. And over in the corner, Mr. Joe, one of our painters is doing skim coat into the corners starting the mudding process for the uh, joints between the ceiling tiles oh sorry between the uh, gypsum boards coming back downstairs out into the kitchen areas our two carpenters are in the dirty kitchen starting to work the uh, cabinetry in here, continuing where they left off yesterday. And our electricians are out here in the uh, garage area doing conduit and pulling wire um, over to the main panels in the corner. And up in the front, um, Mr. Tux and Mr. Ramirez are starting to work for on the uh, motor pad for the sliding gate motor. It's going to go right here. Um, so they're working on where, the location for where the pad's going to go. They're going to dig that out and get it ready to go. Mr. Tux is working the electrical connections for it, for the flashing light at the top, as well as the... Uh, electrical connection for the actual motor itself. And just driving up <coughs> are our welders. Let's see what they've been, what they brought with us today. Just like some more tubular steel. So we'll see where they get that. We got a little delivery this morning. Some more gypsum board, some more ceiling furring. I believe this is gypsum board. Let me take a look underneath the There it is. Yep, more gypsum board. So that'll keep the uh, ceiling guys going for the rest of the day. They're gonna get that all unloaded and put inside. All right. So the guys are bringing in the uh, drywall, stacking it inside of the office for storage until they need it, which will be a little later this morning. 
See they're coming on in. Stacking back up. Two sheets per load. All right, we've got uh, Mr. Carlito has jumped on to help Mr. Uh, Andy with the sanding of the doors here. So hopefully learning a new trade. guy this is Jason uh, introduced you to him yesterday he's helping out the uh, carpenters here in the kitchen area uh, and he's starting to grind out the uh, trackway for where the exhaust is going to go from the um, the hood the range hood that's going to go here and it'll exhaust out the top and they're going to uh, route that to the outside and our ceiling guys are getting ready to get started with the ceiling coming down the staircase so they're gonna drywall this area right here above my head over and down Mr. Wilson's back to doing skim coat on the outside on the uh, outside of the fence line so we've got some areas on this side as well as over on the other side of the fence all right we got the uh, sliding gate we got its first coat of prime coat And we got the, uh, the little piece on the side here so that the um, dogs can't skip through the side of the, the side of the gate. <clears throat> and as it's in place, <clears throat> yep, looking good. <laughs> Coincidentally, this is about the same color as the final coat is going to look like. The final color should look similar to this. So it's not as dark as the roof, but not as light as some of the colors that are up in the front. So this should be about the color we get when we're done. So where you see all the little white splotches everywhere. So he did that all the way around the house. Now that he finished, he's going back and he's got to sand it down. So he's going to sand it down to where it's all smooth. And the next thing going on once it gets done sanding is uh, the prime coat, which will be the, the white, same color as this here. That's what the, that uh, Boysen Permacoat is what they're using. Um, so that's what he's going to be working on for the next couple days. And our varnish guy, <laughs> still sanding away. He said they got to make sure they do a good job so they're doing the, the hand sanding because when they do the uh, the varnish it's going to show any imperfections that are in the wood so they're making sure to get it uh, as smooth as possible and they don't want to overdo it by using a, um, a mechanical sander. So they're trying their best to do it by hand. <coughs> Mr. Carlito is giving them a hand here, he's helping out. So they're sanding down all the rough edges. All right, let's go back into the party zone back here. I'm gonna end up cutting out the audio here. <clears throat> so we're, we're redoing the, uh, redoing, getting ready to redo the ceiling up on top. And the uh, Mr. Archie and crew are gonna lower that in a little while. But in the interim, they're also starting to put the, um, they're gonna put the, uh, gypsum board up on the ceilings. All right, we got the uh, ceiling up and the stairwell. Hi, Miss Emmy. The ceiling's up in the stairwell. What you think? Not bad, huh? And up at the top of the stairwell, Mr. Gel is uh, skim coating over all of the um, screw holes. And over here in the corner, Mr. Ramirez is chipping away at the uh, all the old cement that's on the floor from when they poured concrete 
and when they put, made concrete on the floor so he's got to chip all that out get it back to a normal surface through here into the attic space our welders are going to be up here soon that's what these long pieces of metal here are they're going to start working on the enclosure so that they close off this side all right let's go ahead and walk back into the master bath and see where mr jojo oh, mr jojo's blocked off the wall we can't go that way <laughs> he's doing the uh that's okay he's doing the uh trim around the door edge see right here and over here on this side all right and mr gabby is over there putting uh grout all the way around Notice on the far edge, you don't see the uh, little black lines anymore. All being filled in with white, white grout. Let's go take a look at how our, well, let's see, the uh, chipping out where the flue is gonna go or the uh, exiting ventilation from our um, range hood here. And Mr. Alex and Mr. Allen are still back here working on the uh, cabinetry for the dirty kitchen. Nice touch, nice touch. So up in the uh, shadows up there, and if y'all can see it, I'll try and zoom in. Um, Mr. Lito is creating a, um, a brace here so that nobody goes over from the attic on top of the uh, ceiling above the patio here. So it's kind of blocking off that wall or that opening. It's still gonna be open uh, airflow, but the, uh, will not be accessible to uh, pedestrian traffic. Well, our uh, foreman got in some uh, window molding, the concrete window molding. So uh, he's working on that, cutting the pieces to size to be able to put in here. He's getting them sized in done a dry fit and then they'll come back and do uh, the installation a little bit later. Ceiling guys wrapped up the uh, bedroom number three with ceiling here all out in the cove base or sorry out in the, the cove ceiling uh, they'll wrap this piece up around the outside edge uh, tomorrow and right, I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, drywall ceiling grooves installation um, what I'm going to show you is the alternative method uh, that our engineer here had um, devised uh, because they have had a constant problem with the heat um, in some of the houses in the drywall ceilings. So instead of doing the typical mud and tape where you put a little bit of mud the, uh, or the skimming into the top and then put um, the tape over it, or the gauze as they call it here, gauzing, and put the, then put another layer of mudding or skimming over it. Here what they've done is um, put a little bit of a gap, about, about an eighth of an inch, eighth to a quarter of an inch, um, in between each sheet. Then they go back and they put a groove right down the middle of it. So you end up with kind of a design. Reason being, they said with the, uh, the heat here, because not everybody keeps their house uh, cooled 24 seven, like uh, we do in most Western, most of the Western houses. Um, they don't do that here, uh, too expensive. Um, so they have a lot of heat problems. Well, with the heat, the, uh, the skimming or the mudding actually dries out and starts cracking. Um, and it shows very badly. So what they've devised and what they've been doing uh, as of late is they'll fill it up, come back and put a groove right down this middle. That's why these, uh, that's why these ceiling drywalls are not butted up side by side really tight together. So they've allowed that little bit of a space uh, for the skimming, for the mudding to be able to contract and expand with the heat. So they're gonna uh, change plans and go back to the mudding and taping um, up here uh, that we asked for. So 
we will uh, see in the long run how that goes or we may come back at a later point and on a self-help project uh, come back and end up redoing the ceiling uh, just to uh, take care of that uh, try to alleviate that cracking all right from the uh, up top perspective we are closing off this side of the wall um, not entirely but at least to uh, personnel traffic so we're making it uh, more difficult for anybody to get from the attic space out to the, the patio ceiling or from the ceiling inside the house this direction um, so we're blocking that off on this side as well as the side over by the dirty kitchen on the other side of that uh, dormer window there okay so once one of the uh, the doors gets finished being uh, sanded down um, mr. Andy here is going back with um, a material here that he's calling it's a, uh, a sealant uh, so it's both a filler and a sealant Go ahead and watch over his shoulder here. So we're gonna put it in, it kind of fills the grooves and also seals the top of the, um, of the wood grain. Very thin, dries quickly. You wouldn't even know it's there. Just a slight discoloration. And then they'll come back later and uh, so apparently this one's got a long process. They, they put the sealant, they'll sand it, put the sealant again, and, and sand one more time, just for good measure. Uh, so they wanna make sure this is uh, very smooth. All the, all the uh, wood grain is actually sealed in place um, before they start looking at putting on that final coat of varnish. The engineer and uh, his brother-in-law brought by some supplies that we're gonna be using later on. Um, you see here we're going to have a concrete primer and sealer. We're going to be using this on the um, exterior wall cladding. So they're going to use a, the concrete primer and sealer and then they're going to come back and paint over the top of that with the prime coat. So it's going to be sealed. Should be no problems with uh, water or anything like that. So see it is uh, a sealer for masonry and drywall. And over here, the uh, carpenters have been working on the, uh, the jig or the pattern that they're going to use uh, for the archway that's going to go between the two columns here. So they're going to, they're cutting out those uh, patterns and they're going to give that back to the engineer to uh, take and get, um, get fabricated. All right, guys, it's uh, past Yabba Dabba Doo time. You guys are, uh, have already left. Um, and we're getting ready to do about the same. So um, if y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again tomorrow, have a great afternoon and God bless. This groove, get you to move. It's all right, all right.